Hi guys, so in today's video we are gonna do a get ready with me and we are gonna use the project pen items and we will see how much these products actually cost. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. Okay, as you can see, I am bare faced and I'm very, very curious about this video just because I'm trying to use up these products. So I want to know the value of these products and how much uh, I'm using so yeah let's start I will have some prices on the screen and I will mention them of course the first product that we are having in the project pen is the fit me uh, primer and I do have some steps that are not in the project pen I will I will use them but I will not uh, include them in the prices and total amount just because I am curious only about the project pen items. This primer retails for $9. I want to mention that I got all of these prices in um, dollars and all of them are for from official websites. Uh, I have two that were in pounds and euros so I did convert them to dollars and yeah so this is $9. This primer actually retails for around $5 in Romania, so it's a bit cheaper actually. I don't know why that is, but I choose for all of them the official websites just to be uh, all around uh, constant. So we don't compare like Sephora prices with official websites with Romania prices and stuff like that. So official websites for all of them. So this is the primer and the fit me foundation i do have in my project pen as well this is the shade 100 110 and this retails for nine dollars as well and this was cheaper in romania as well and my foundation is very very loud so i do have just a bit left so this will be done hopefully next month I am excited about that and I'm very very curious to see at the end of the project pen how many items I did finish this year. This year is actually my first year of project painting. Last year I did only three months or four. So this year I am Happy that I did the whole year, or I will do the whole year. This foundation was my favorite for a very, very long time. And now I still like it, but it's just a bit of an older formula. So it doesn't wear that great compared to other foundations. And right now I do prefer high-end foundations over drugstore in most cases let's say I do have some favorites that are drugstore but in general I do trust higher-end foundations more than drugstore next item is the liquid camouflage by Catrice this one as well I think I repurchased like five times or something like that I took the stopper out, so I need to... This retails for $6. We do have some drugstore at the beginning, but I got some high-end as well. And this concealer as well, I really like it, but again, it is a more older formula. I feel like the new Catrice concealer is, it is better. I'm just building a bit because I do have some pimples. I just got back from Rome, so traveling usually just dries my skin a bit. So usually I do get some pimples as well, but it's not a big problem. I need to use a mask just to exfoliate my skin and it will be uh, totally fine. Let's apply a bit of gloss because I'm gonna use the project pen lipstick 
after. This is the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil and I have the shade Plum. And this retails for a lot of money. Uh, this retails for $22.34. The price was in uh, pounds. So that's the reason we got a lot of uh, digits after the the dot so this is the lip oil it looks like this and i really like this one but the price is very high as well next we will add some powder this is the fit me matte and poreless powder and this retails for 850 dollars of course i really like this powder is not better than my next one i am powdering everywhere just because we have powder bronzer and powder highlighter. I'm gonna use another blush, but nothing a uh, cream for today. Next, we have the Essence Matte Bronzing uh, Powder and this retails for $5. I love this bronzer and it is only $5. Very, very affordable and an amazing product, really. I'm using this um, Real Techniques brush. It is a giant brush, but I just love it. And this bronzer is pretty light. So if you have very, very fair skin, I do recommend this bronzer. It is really, really nice. And it's very easy to blend, very buildable and blendable. Let's apply highlighter next. I will do blush and the brows off camera because we don't have that in the project pen this is the mac highlighter in the shade soft and gentle and this retails for 40 dollars so this is the most expensive product that i have in the project pen and yeah 40 dollars that's that's pretty high i'm curious i don't think i can compare the prices with what i paid for it because of course i paid less for all of these probably because inflation and all the prices going up and everything is more expensive nowadays so yeah for sure i paid less for all of these okay so here is the highlighter I really love this formula. It is a very, very good product. I will do blush and brows and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done and blush as well. I will list down below everything that I have on my face in case you are curious of shades and what products I used. I really love this palette. I'm very excited to use it today. We will use this one in the crease and then this one just on the outer edge. And then I think this one on the lid and yeah let's let's start with that and we will see i am starting with a refer number 16 and the shade incense i am quite sad that i decided to declutter the mercury retrograde it was old but not that old but i can't explain my eye irritation so I just feel like one shade from that palette irritated my eye so I love the mercury retrograde but I care about my eyelids more so it is what it is and this palette the Nabla one retails for 23.08 dollars again this was in euros so i just convert it to dollars i'm using the shade botanic juice now okay so this is how the two shades are looking i'm taking bucolic baby now and i will spray this one this shade is pretty lightly pressed as well so I don't want a lot of fallout. 
I'm just blending the edges a bit and I will take more of that botanic just shade just to blend in here at the edge okay so we have something like this now I'm using the same brush the one with the shimmer but I don't care about the shimmer so I will clean it just a bit on my towel and I'm taking the shade blackberry the very very dark shade and I'm gonna put this just close to the lash line and I will do the same on the lower lash lastly I'm taking a pencil brush and the shade alchemy 2.0 this is a topper and I will put this one in the inner corner and into the lower lash in here and this is a more blue shade so it will go perfectly with our purple liner as well okay and I'm gonna put this purple on the waterline on the lower lash and then I'm gonna put a black this is from Natasha Dinona is not in the in the project pen this pencil I forgot to mention this retails for five dollars the LA girl in the shade vivid I will put this one on the bottom water line like I said and then I think the last product in our project pen I hope <laughs> yeah I think this is the last one is the MAC lipstick this retails for 21 dollars and I will apply it just a bit on top something like this very very quick I will apply the pencils on the waterline I will do mascara and some lashes and I will be right back just to talk about the total amount okay so this is the final look lashes are done as well mascara everything I will list down below like I said if you're curious about something else that is not in the project pen but we have a total of $148.90 two cents so yeah what can i say i am pretty happy in general with this project pen so let's round the total at 150 for this discussion and i think i will not be able to finish this highlighter in general and probably this palette i will not be able to finish either these two are around uh, $63 together they are the more expensive part of the project pen but I am not mad <laughs> I am very happy that the rest of them I think I will be able to finish the powder and the bronzer will be more challenging than the other things but still I think I will be able to finish them next year maybe if this one um, will not be if in this one will not be possible 150 it sounds like a lot and we don't have brows and mascara in here but we do have everything else and I will be able to finish most of these so overall I think this is a very very interesting video and very helpful uh, project to do the project pen and yeah so if you like this video and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and i'll see you next time